whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Hello and welcome to the West Washington Senator live stream. We've got a sectional matchup here today between the Trinity Lutheran and Crothersville. I'm Gabriel Porter, joined here today by Titan Williams. Yes, sir. And Titan, are you excited about this matchup? Yes, I am, as um, we have a very good Trinity team taking on um, Crothersville, who Trinity um, beat earlier in the year 55 to 25, so might see uh, Crothersville co come out aggressive and try to get some revenge on Trinity. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see here as we have them announcing some of the starting lineups here tonight. Those were the starters for Trinity Lutheran. They are going with uh, 23, Cochran, 5, Froge, 24, Keith, 35, Shepman, and 21, Tabling. Um, Trinity Lutheran is coached by Mike Lang. Those are the starters for Crothersville as they will have Barry, Lanning, Plast, uh, Womack, and Lakin start. They are coached by Kevin Hensley. So just about to get this sectional matchup underway. This is the first game of the night as uh, the West Washington Lady Senators will take on the Shaw Memorial Lady Hilltoppers after this game. And Trinity Lutheran will control the tip off as Keith is able to get the ball as now Cochran dribbles baseline, gets it inside for Keith and she gets the two points to go to start off the game. Yeah, and Trinity Lutheran coming out here aggressive, getting in the paint. Crothersville will have to be a bit more 
wary on defense if this keeps up. So now we have Plast putting up a three-pointer. It's no good. Offense rebounds as Lakens gets it, puts it up no good, knocked out of bounds, and we'll stay with the Lady Tigers. So the Lady Tigers will take it out underneath the basket. Plast looking for somewhere to go. Throws it up, and it's going to be tipped, at, controlled by the Lady Tigers. They get it back out. Plast with it, guard heavily, and it's taken away by Cockrum as now she pushes it the other way quickly. Kicks it ahead for Tabling, who dribbles inside, puts up the mid-range jump shot, and gets it to go. Yeah, and you can see Trey Lutheran is coming out here quick and aggressive. Crothersville will have to get going if they want to keep up. So now Plast with it, looking to be the main ball handler for this game. Cockrum on her as now Lakens gets the ball on the left side. Lakens kicks it up for Womack. Womack now dribbles into the middle. Ball is tipped. Ball's on the ground, recovered by the Lady Tigers. Womack throws it off for Plass. Plass now looking for Lakens on the back door cut. She puts up the layup, it's no good. Rebounded by Keith for the um, Lady Cougars as now she pushes it the other way. Kicks it ahead for Cochran who gets it on the block. Bounce pass inside, Keith puts up the shot, no good. And now tabling with it, puts up a three pointer. It is good and she starts off with a quick five points. Yeah, and Crothersville definitely wants to look out for those jump shots as Trey Lutheran's getting some good looks in the basket tonight. So now Lakens gets the ball into the paint, tries to throw it out. It's going to be taken away by Cochran, who kicks it ahead as Keith with it on the fast break, gets all the way to the block and gets the layup to go. So now the Lady Cougars up to a 9-0 lead two minutes into the game as Lakens brings the ball across half court. Lakens guard by tabling, gives it off to the wing, landing with it, gives it back to Plass. Plass almost gets it taken away by Cockrum, gets out of it, kicks it off for Barry. Barry now gets it back off to Plass, sets a screen. Plass now dribbling, dribbling it inside, gets to the block, puts up the shots, blocked away. And then we'll stay with the Lady Tigers. Has now 21 Ubrin checks into the game, coming in for 10 Lakens. It's now Plass taking the ball out of bounds. He's going to throw it up. It's going to be taken away by Keith, and now she pushes it the other way quickly. He's going to get all the way to the basket and get another layup to go. She's already got six points. Trey Lutheran is being quite the aggressor here. They're coming out getting steals and defending with great hustle and getting those transition points. Crothersville will have to be more careful with the ball and they'll have to get back on defense a bit faster. And now Barry has called for a five second call as she couldn't get the ball to any of her teammates. A good defense there by Trinity Lutheran as they force another turnover. As now Cochran brings up the ball off the floor quickly, dribbles to the right side, gives it off. Keith with it, dribbles inside, puts up the jump shot. It's no good. Ball is tipped out of bounds and it will be the Lady Tigers ball. So now we have Plass who will bring the ball up the floor again. Lady Cougars up to an 11-0 lead. Plass dribbles it right side, puts up a three-pointer. It is no good off front of the rim. And Trinity is now going to throw it up the floor as Gurker gets it, puts up the layup, and gets it to go. Actually, I know that was Froge with a, a layup. So now Plass with it again. For the Lady Tigers, she dribbles it right side, almost gets it taken away, and ball's on the ground. Plass gets it back, throws it up, as uh, she now gets the ball back on the right side of the floor. Now dribbling it left side, guard heavily by Cockrum. Really with just nowhere to go here. Now Plass tries to get it back out, as Froge takes it away again, and now she will get another layup, and it is no good as Womack controls the rebound. Kicks it ahead for Barry, now gets it back to Plass, and she'll bring it up the floor. So halfway through this first quarter now, Barry's got it. Barry looking for somewhere to go, and a foul will be called on the Lady Cougars. That was on 35 Shetman, her first. And here after this foul, this kind of gives the Lady Tigers a chance to calm down, get their nerves out, and come up with a play to try and get some points. So now Plass throws it up. It's going to be taken away by Tabling. 
She now kicks it up as Frode has it. Bounce pass inside, wide open layup is good. As that is 14 Gurker with the two. It's now a 15 to nothing ball game as Trey Lutheran has come out here looking dominant tonight. So now Plass gets the ball into the lane, puts up the runner, it's gonna be blocked away. Offensive rebound though, and a travel will be called on 44 landing. So now Tabling will bring the ball up the floor. Guard by Plass, she splits two defenders, goes up with the shot and gets it to go. Tabling now with seven points on the game. So now Plass will bring the ball up the floor, gives it off to Womack on the right side. Womack dribbling around, trying to get inside, picks up her dribble, gives it off. Barry puts up the shot from the elbow, it's no good. Rebounded by Froge, who gives it off to Tabling, who now pushes it the other way. Tabling dribbles it on the right side, gives off the bounce pass as Shepman gets it to go. That was a heck of a pass by Tabling there. So now Trinity Lutheran up to a 19 to nothing lead, three minutes to go in this first quarter. It's so now Plast with the ball. Plast looking to get it off the Barry, tries to get it to her, it's gonna be taken away. Now kicked ahead as Cochran will get it and get another layup to go. Cockrum with her first two of the game. And now Plass will bring the ball up the floor, guarded by Cockrum. Plass goes left side, gets it inside the three-point line, puts up the shot, no good off the rim. Long rebound as Shepman comes up with it, gives it off to Tabling. Tabling now looking to kick it ahead, gives it off. Froge puts up a three-pointer. It is no good off the rim, but a offensive rebound as another long rebound comes out. Tabling throws it inside, and Gurker will get another layup to go. It's now a 23 to nothing lead for the Lady Cougars. So now Plass crosses half court. Plass guarded by Cockrum. Plass gives it off onto the wing, landing with it, and a traveling violation will be called. And that right there is just a lackadaisical type play by Crothersville. You can't just travel without dribbling in that situation. There wasn't much pressure as there has been for most tonight with Trinity Lutheran, so. Uh, for Trinity Lutheran, they just had 20 Durham and 10 Brewer check into the game. Tabling's got the ball, he's gonna split two defenders, put up a runner, it's no good. Rebounded by Barry for the Lady Tigers, and now Plass will push it the other way quickly to try to get it out in front. Ooh. Ball's on the ground now as they took a hard fall. Now the referees didn't really see who that ball went out of bounds off of, so they called a jump ball and it will be Lady Tigers ball. Yeah, and it looks like both girls just got tangled up there in that situation, so. Plass throws it up for Barry now. Now Barry, or Plass gets it back in the corner, tries to drive baseline, gets into the paint, puts up the layup, it's no good. And it will be controlled by the Lady Cougars as Tabling brings it up, throws it up for, for Durham, and she gets the layup to go. Now Barry with it, gives it back to Plass. One minute to go in the quarter. Plass now crosses half court. He's gonna go left side. Now he tries to split two defenders, balls on the ground. Plass is able to get it back and get it out back into the corner. Plass now dribbling it around up top. Puts up a three point, it's gonna be blocked. Tabling with the rebound, kicks it ahead as Brewer with the wide open layup and it is good. It's now a 27 to nothing lead for the Lady Cougars. Yeah, and transition defense has just really been where Carthersville has been getting killed at at this point. I mean, gotta get back quicker and defend some of these easy transition buckets that Trinity Lutheran's been getting. As now Tabling gets the ball for the Lady Cougars, she's gonna push it ahead quickly, gets all the way to the basket and gets a layup to go. Now with just one second left, Plass puts it up in half court. It is no good, and that will conclude the first quarter where Trinity Lutheran has been very dominant, up 29 to nothing. 
You're listening to West Washington Senator Livestream, and we'll be back after this commercial break. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. And we're back. Lady Trinity Lutheran has been dominating from the early jump here. Up 29-0 to zero against Crothersville. And Titan, at this point, if you're the Crothersville coach, what, what do you say to your team to try and inspire them back into this game? Well, the Lady Tigers definitely have to be more cautious with the ball and try to handle it more and just actually be able to get some shots up. Right now, they haven't even been able to shoot the ball that much because they've just had a bunch of turnovers. And Trinity Lutheran has got a bunch of fast break points. Yeah, that's definitely what's been hurting Lady Tigers here is just giving up way too many transition buckets. So now Cochram with the ball at the top of the key, puts up a three-pointer, and it is good. Cochram now with five points. So now Plass will bring the ball up the floor. She gets it knocked away, but is able to recover it. Now with the crossover, gets into the all the way into the paint, puts up the shot. It is good, but no shot is called. Will be foul on the ground as it is on 14 Gurker. It's not substitution for the Lady Tigers as 50 Acosta comes into the game. It's now Plas to take the ball out of bounds. Plas tries to throw it in and it will be knocked out of bounds by um, Trinity Lutheran. That was 12 Rotor who knocked out of bounds. As now a 30 second timeout will be called. So we have the um, Lady Cougars here up 32 to nothing. Crothersville hasn't been able to get anything to go offensively. Their only made shot was waved off due to a foul on the ground. Yeah, and that's gotta be tough for these Tigers. You see, you finally see one go through the net and then the rest tell you, nope. But hey, you can't let that discourage you and you just gotta, you gotta keep battling here. I mean, yes, you're down 32 nothing, but there's still three whole quarters you can very easily come back. You just gotta play sound defense and you gotta get some buckets to fall. So hopefully they come out here with the aggressiveness needed to put this game back together. So now we have Barry taking the ball out of bounds. Crothersville in the box set. Barry throws it in. Shot is up. It is no good off the backboard. That was 21 Ubrin. Ball is now knocked out of bounds. We'll go to Trinity Lutheran. So now Cochran will bring the ball up the floor. Crothersville now in a 2-3 zone, something we saw a little bit earlier, and we saw Tabling just dribble right through the top two players as Cochran puts up a three-pointer. It's no good. Long rebound is controlled by Trinity Lutheran. Cochran gets it back, dribbles inside, gives it into the post for Gurker. Now ball's kicked back out. Cochran dribbles inside, puts up the runner, and banks it in. So now Plass bringing the ball up the floor again, gives it off to Womack, throws it in the corner. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by Cochran. As 44 landing comes into the game, coming in for 50 Acosta. So now Barry to take the ball out on the sideline. Barry gets it in for Plass. Plass dribbles left side, puts up a three-pointer. It's no good. And Plass is able to get her own miss, goes up with a layup and gets it to go. You know, one thing about these Crowderville Tigers, I love the aggressiveness Plass is playing with. As right there, 10 Brewer drove inside and got fouled going up for the shot. So she'll go to the line for two shots. First free throws 
for either team in this game. But right there, it's another example of why the Tigers are down here. I mean, you finally get a bucket to go in, and then you foul on a transition, not getting back quick enough. I mean. So that shot by Brewer is good. She's now got three points on the game. So now Brewer at the free throw line. One more shot. Shot is up and it is also good, giving her four points on the game. So now Plass will again bring the ball up the floor. A minute and a half into this second quarter as now Womax got it. Picks up her dribble, looking for somewhere to go. Throws it off for Barry. Barry turns, puts up the shot. It is no good and will go out of bounds. Will be Trent Lutheran ball. Is now 11. Jordan Brewer checks into the game. So now Brewer will bring the ball up the floor as Brewer gives it off onto the right wing. A three pointer is up and no good. Offensive rebound though, as now Brewer with it gives it off. Swung back across. And a jump shot is up and no good. Will be rebounded by Crothersville as now Plass will take it the other way. So now Plass dribbles it inside, gets it taken away, and now Trinity Lutheran will push it out again as Brewer with the layup and gets it to go. It's now Jordan Brewer with her first two points of the game. As now Plass brings it up again for the Lady Tigers. Barry now with it. Barry dribbling it around. Throws it off for Womack. It's going to be tipped and taken away as Crothersville, or Crothersville gets another turnover. Good move right there as 20, uh, Durham gets the layup to go. So now we have a full timeout called by Crothersville. You're listening to West Washington Senator live stream, and we'll head to another commercial break. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. And we're back. Got about five minutes and 22 seconds. Trey Lutheran leading 40 to two as Crothersville has struggled to maintain possession of the ball for most of the night. A lot of transition buckets made here by Trinity Lutheran. It's now Plass who's been the main ball hander will bring the ball up the floor. Guard heavily gets a good screen by Womack. Gets all the way to the block and a foul will be called. They call a foul on 13 bowling. So now Barry will take the ball out of bounds. Tries to throw it in for Plass and it's going to be taken away. As now Trinity Lutheran will kick it ahead and Bowling will get the layup up and it is no good. Goes out of bounds off of the Lady Tigers and will be Trinity Lutheran ball out underneath their own basket. As now Brewer to take it out, gets it in. Three pointer is no good, but an offensive rebound. Barry got a her hand on the ball. Ball is knocked out of bounds. Will be the Lady Tigers ball. Now we have 45 Shepman back into the game. 10 Morgan Brewer checks out. So now Plas to bring ball up the floor halfway through the second quarter. As Plas now gets it back. And loses out of bounds and will be Trinity Lutheran ball. So 
So now the referee's talking to the scorer's table. Yeah, it looked like Crothersville had a little trouble figuring out who was getting substituted out. So now Trinity Lutheran bringing the ball back up the floor. Up by 38 points here in the second quarter. As Plass almost was able to take it away and now she gets called for the foul. Well, one thing Crothersville has not been missing is the aggressiveness here by Plass. I mean, she is driving into the paint and she's looking for steals. So now Durham throws it into the post. Shepman puts up the layup, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Womack. Gives it off to Barry, and who now hands it off to Plass. Plass now with the crossover. Ball is tipped, but Plass is able to get it back. Now ball is knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with the Lady Tigers. Now Barry to take the ball out of bounds. He's going to throw it into the backcourt. Plass now gets it taken away, and then we'll get called for the foul. So now we'll be Trinity Lutheran ball as Durham will take it out of bounds. Durham gives it off to Brewer, and now Brewer will bring it up the floor. Brewer splits two defenders, puts up the shot from the free throw line, and gets it to fall. Brewer now with four points on the game. As now Plass will bring the ball back up the floor, gives it off to Barry. Barry dribbles right side, is cut off, now has to give it back to Plass. The ball is tipped into the backcourt. As now Plass tries to get the ball back onto the other side of the floor. Womack with it, puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. And now Barry's able to get the offensive rebound, kicks it back out for Womack, throws it onto the wing. It's going to be tipped and taken away as Trinity Luther now pushes it up the floor and gets the life to go. As that was 11, Jordan Brewer again, and she's now got six points. So now Plass bring the ball back up the floor. Plass gets it inside the three-point line, puts up the three, no good, gets her own miss, puts it up again, no good. Now a battle for the rebound is Plass getting in there again, but Trinity Lutheran's able to get the ball. As now Trinity pushes it up the floor. Brewer puts up the runner, can't get it to fall in and out. Offensive rebound, it's kicked out. Shot right there by Durham is no good. And now Plass with the rebound, Plass will push it the other way. It's gonna be taken away by Trinity. And now a good pass to the opposite block and that layup is good by Brewer. So now Plass to bring the ball back up the floor again. We're under two minutes to go in the first half. As now Womack with it is going to have it taken away again. Now the layup is good as that was number 12, Roeder, getting her first two of the game. Now Plass throws it ahead for Womack. Womack picks it up, throws it off for Barry. It's going to be taken away by Trinity Lutheran. So now Trinity throws it off and a wide open layup is good. As I was 20, Durham. He's now got six points. It's now just about a minute to go in this first half. Now a foul will be called on Cuttersville. And we'll see Lakens check back in here. It's been a while since we've seen her. Last time, I believe, was in the first quarter. So now we have Roeder bringing the ball up the floor, gives it in the corner. Durham puts up a three-pointer. It's no good. Lakens with the rebound. As now Lakens will push it ahead. Good crossover. Gets the ball all the way down to the three-point line. Dribbles right side, puts up the runner, is fouled, and will go to the line for two shots. Well, Lakens came in firing, that's for sure. Getting the rebound, bringing it up the court, and then drawing the foul there. So... Looks like that's some of that fire that these Tigers needed. I mean, so now Lakens at the free throw line. Shot is up and good, getting her first point of the game. So 
Now Lakin's second shot is up and good. So now, or Trinity Lutheran will take it the other way as it is thrown into the corner. And now down the block as another layup is good. This time it's by 13 bowling. So now Plass with the ball takes it left side. It's going to be fouled on the floor by 12 Roeder. One thing for Trinity Lutheran, they've already had 11 different players score in this first half, making up their 52 points. Yeah, and that, that'll definitely help your team if you can get a little bit of offensive output from each player. Now a jump ball is called. It will stay with Crothersville. 25 seconds to go in the half. It's now Lakins to take the ball out of bounds. Gives it off for Plass. Plass dribbles to the middle of the floor, has it tipped away. Lakins runs in the backcourt and gets it. 20 seconds now in the half. Lakins dribbles left side, picks up a dribble, tries to give it off to Barry, and a jump ball will be called, and this time it will go over to Trinity Lutheran. So now we have Roeder with the ball, gives it back for Brewer. Brewer with eight seconds to go in the half. Now Brewer puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. Offensive rebound, though, for Trinity Lutheran, and that will be the end of the half where Trinity Lutheran leads Crothersville 52-4. to four. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today while also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. 13,000 feet has a way of testing a man's soul. After all, you were never meant to take on such an endeavor. That long drop is what separates human from superhuman. And here we are, right here, right now. You're good at motivation, we're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 
It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Commissioner, we have a major snowstorm that's clearly going to affect the tournament. So uh, what, without knowing exactly how it's going to turn out on, uh, on Wednesday, Thursday, schools are frantically making plans to uh, redo some games. So what can you tell us uh, about the, the effect of the tournament on, with this storm? Certainly. You know, coaching, we're just doing what coaches do. They, they game plan every day. School's game plan, and that's, right. that's what's going on here. And, you know, I, I say tongue-in-cheek that this is as simple as we're going to – it's going to snow. We know that. Uh, but when it quits snowing, we're going to clean it up and play as soon as we can. But, you know, and, and that's a that's a simple way to look at it. But we, we've looked at a lot of uh, scenarios. And, you know, with the girls' tournament, we have uh, – 30 plus games going off tonight and eight team sectionals, so they could get delayed. And, you know, Thursday night right now, based on the forecast, doesn't look the best. So, what we will do is we'll push games back regionally based upon uh, on how much snow they got. Obviously, it's going to be different in the north than the south. And we'll have some schools that get to play uh, their semifinal rounds on Saturday. Some might get cleaned up in time to play on Friday night. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're going to, you know, just make the appropriate adjustments to keep schools playing. And I, I assume that uh, if the weather forecast holds true, that we'll be crowning some champions in our girls' sectional bracketry for sure um, on Monday this week. And we've done those things in the past, and we'll be fine. Right. We'll, we'll do it again. So everybody has to understand Sunday is a day that's uh, not available, never has been. And so you'll, you know, you could push it into money. And is it mutual decision of all the schools or who, who makes the final call? You know, it, it really is the sectional host starts that. They're on the ground in that region. Uh, they know what their facilities are like. They know what the cleanup window is going to be like to get their parking lots open and their sidewalk shoveled off. So the first decision is made at the school level. Recommendation comes to our assistant commissioners who are in charge of that sport. Most of the times we concur with uh, what's being said, and, and then we're going to make a decision based upon on safety and, and when we can just like school. We don't go to school. We mm -hmm. can safely get there, and this tournament will be the same way. Well, we got a night in last night, and we had some really good games, did we not? We did, Coach. I was uh, out, and Seth was out, and, you know, girls' basketball is um, very good in this state. I know we've got a couple kids that uh, started their tournament quest. we got some going to Tennessee and a lot of Division I uh, student-athletes that are, are playing for their high school, and, um, you know, it was a great game of basketball great games last night and you know i i actually went out and watched uh, muncie central versus anderson a great competitive game and uh, i know the staff saw a lot of other games that were really good across the state you know the uh, boys games obviously have scheduled there'll be some games who knows what will happen uh with those games and more than likely have to be made up with the amount of snow you're going to get but you know the first things first we're going to try to do as much as we can with the uh, girls tournament and um you know it's just it's it's indiana and it's it's tournament time and you have to expect snow you've been here as long as i have you have to expect snow on sectional week yeah it happens i don't know if you remember back a couple years ago bob uh uh, actually, my first year in the office, we had, what, 10 or 12 inches of snow the right. state championship right. weekend of the boys' tournament, you know? And right. we just adjust. We figure out a way. And and be honest with you, I, hate to, I don't want to celebrate this way, but COVID has taught us to adjust. And those lessons uh, certainly can be applied here. And you just have to remain flexible, look at what's before you, make the best decision possible, and, and move forward when you can. He's the commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Nighting, all things IHSA related our topic as we do every week. Commissioner, good luck to you and the staff. Stay safe. Thanks very much. Thanks, Coach, and uh, look forward to listening to your show this weekend. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. 
Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller. I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. And we're back. Trinity Lutheran leading here 52 to 4 as we begin this second half of basketball. Crothersville Lady Tigers will start out with the ball as Lakens has it. Gives it off to Plass up near the logo. Plass gets a screen from Barry. Plass puts up a three pointer. It is no good. Lakens saves it as Womack gets it. Womack now is stuck with the ball on the block as Tabling's going to take it away and go on the fast break. And she will get the layup to go, giving her 11 points on the game. So now Crothersville bringing the ball up the floor, trying to get something going here in what looks to be their final game of the season. As Lakens has the ball up at the top of the key, gives it off to Plass on the left side. Barry now comes up and gets it. Barry hands it off to Lakens. Lakens attacks left side, gets in the paint, kicks it out for Plass. Plass now tries to attack right side as uh, Lakens with a good move, gets all the way to the block and gets the layup to go. Lakens coming down a bit hard there on that layup as, as we have an and one now for number five, Froge. Trinity Lutherans come out here and gotten a few quick transition buckets and that was the name of the game for them in the first half as there is an offensive rebound now battled for as Lakens gets on the ground it will be a jump ball we'll stay with Trinity Lutheran I don't know Lakens has been flying around here to start off this half jumping for the ball driving into the paint she's been aggressive here now 35 Shepman gets the layup as now Lakens brings the ball back up the floor Lakens guard by tabling Lakens gives it off for Plass. Plass tries to throw it in the post for Barry. Barry's able to get in the short corner. Now Barry kicks out for Plass. Passes too strong, goes out of bounds, and will be another turnover and go over to Trinity Lutheran. Now a substitution as 21 Ubrin comes into the game for 44 Lanning. And for Trinity Lutheran, number 45 um, Caitlin Shepman comes in for 35. Emma Shepman <clears throat> is now tabling with the ball. Throws it in the post area. Gets it back. Puts up the mid-range jumper. It's no good off the back of the rim. Rhodes with their offensive rebound. Get, kicks it out for tabling. Gives it off. Gochram with the mid-range jumper. It's no good. Another offensive rebound. Shepman with it. Ball's now on the ground. And it will be a, another jump ball and go to, tr to Crothersville.
So now Barry will take it out, gives it off to, to Lakens. As now Lakens will set up the offense for Crothersville. Lakens crosses half court. And now we'll, with a good crossover, gets in the line, puts up the runner. It's no good as Keith gets the rebound. Keith tries to push it the other way, will be knocked out of bounds. And we'll stay Trinity Lutheran ball. Now tabling, brings the ball off the floor, gives it off for Cockrum, who puts up the runner. It is no good. Offense rebound by Shepman. Can't get that layup to go. Another offensive rebound. Keith with it. Kicks it out for Froge into the short corner. Cochran puts up the mid-range jumper. It's no good. As Plass is able to come down with the rebound. will now push it ahead for Crothersville. Plass now crossing half court. Throws in the corner. Not able to handle it. And the ball goes out of bounds off Ubrin for Crothersville. And will go over to Trinity Lutheran. As now Cochran brings the ball to the floor. Four minutes to go in the third quarter. Cockrum gives it off onto the wing. Throge with it. Kicks it in the high post. Tabling puts up the jump shot. It's no good. Offensive rebound. Keith gets the layup to go. Now make that a 60 to 6 ball game. A little under four minutes left here in the third quarter. Keith now with eight points on the game as Barry's got it for Crothersville. Barry picks it up, tries to throw it in the high post. Falls on the ground as um, it is recovered by Plass. Plass is now going to go left side, and a foul will be called on 23, Cockrum. So now Barry will take it out of bounds. Now a 30-second timeout will be called by Crothersville. So now we have um, Trinity Lutheran up 60 to six with 319 to go in the third quarter as Crothersville just hasn't been able to get anything going offensively. Yeah, and part of that just starts with not turning the ball over. I mean, and I get it, Trinity Lutheran is out here zooming. They are moving fast and getting in passing lanes, but you just gotta be a bit more careful and make sure you take care of the ball. I mean. If you don't have the ball, you can't score points. That's the whole name of the game here. So, something for Crothersville to kind of keep in mind. It's not Barry taking it out, looking to get to Plass. He's going to be taken away by Keith, who now gets all the way down the block and gets the layup up and good. Keith now the second player for Trinity Lutheran to reach double digits in the points column. Now that ball is knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with Crothersville. It's so now Barry to take it out again. He's going to throw it up for Plass. Plass gets it in the backcourt. Cockrum tries to get the steal, and now Plass goes around her, gets into the paint, puts up the runner. It's no good. Rebounded by Keith, who now push it the other way. Keith taking up the right side, gives it off to Cockrum for the left-handed layup and gets it to go. And Cockrum has been all over this game, getting steals and making buckets. I mean, it's just been tough all night for Crothersville to get past her on the defensive end. Now Barry with the ball, dribbling it around, picks up her dribble, gives it off to Plass. Plass goes right side around Cockrum, gets all the way to the block, puts up a shot, it's blocked away out of bounds, and it will stay with Crothersville. So now Barry taking the ball out of bounds. Gives it off to Plass in the short corner. Plass dribbles it out. Now goes back to Barry. It's going to be knocked out of bounds and stay with Crothersville. That's now 30. Womack checks into the game. And we have five new players coming in for Trinity. It's now Barry to take the ball out of bounds. Barry throws it in for Plass. Plass with it, gets double teamed, and now it's gonna be taken away as Brewer takes it the other way. Brewer puts up the layup with the left hand, no good offensive rebound, and that layup right there is good by Durham. 
Durham now with eight points on the game. It's now Plas with the ball on the left side. A minute to go in this third quarter. She puts up a runner, it's no good. As now Trinity with the rebound, now will push it the other way quickly as Brewer has it. Dribbles it on the right side, no good. Offensive rebound. Now ball is tipped out and Trinity Lutheran able to recover it. As now Gurkha with it, gives it in the corner for Durham. Durham looking inside, kicks it back out top for Morgan Brewer who dribbles inside, gives it off. Brewer with the shot and gets it to go as that was Jordan Brewer gets her 10th point of the game. It's now time winding down here in this third quarter. Trinity Lutheran up 68 to six. As Plash dribbles the ball inside, gets it knocked away and it will be out of bounds off of Trinity Lutheran. It's now Barry to take the ball out of bounds. Gets it in for Plash in the corner. Just six seconds to go, puts up the three pointer. It is good. <laughs> as Plotz gets her fifth point of the game. And that will conclude the third quarter as Trinity Lutheran is now up 68 to nine. You're listening to West Washington Senator live stream and we will go to a quick commercial break. Wanna know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Hi, I'm Matt Wolfert, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. And we're back. Fourth quarter here. Trinity Lutheran leading 68 to nine over the Crothersville Tigers. As now Brewer brings the ball inside, gives it off to Durham. Corner three pointer now by Gerker is no good, but an offensive rebound and it is good by Shepman. Had an exciting end to that third quarter as Plass made the first three pointer for these Tigers here tonight, but gives up the ball on that one. And that layup is good by 11, Brewer, her 12th of the game. Now Plass with it again, brings it across half court. It was left side and a foul will be called. So now Barry will take the ball out of bounds on the sideline. Now Barry gives it off to Plass. Plass with the crossover, it's gonna have it taken away, but a foul will be called. That was on 35 Plass. No substitution for Crothersville. Now Brewer with the ball, gives it off into the corner now. Shepman with it, gets all the way to the block and a foul is gonna be called. Now Trinity Lutheran taking the ball out of bounds underneath. The Gurker gets it inside, tries to throw it out. It is saved there by Trinity. As now, we have Brewer puts up the runner and in and out. Offensive rebound for Shepman and gets the layup to go. It's now Plass with the ball. Plass looking on the right side is going to try to go left now. Ball is going to be tipped, taken away by Brewer. He now pushes it the other way and she gets the layup to go. Jordan Brewer now with 14 points on the game. Now with five and a half minutes to go in the game. 
Boss tries to throw it off, and now Barry is able to get it. Barry tries to throw it over the top, and will be out of bounds off of Trinity Lutheran. As now 10 Lakens comes into the game along with 30 Womack. Tigers having a bit of trouble getting the proper substitutions made. It's now Barry taking the ball out of bounds. Gets it in for Lakens and a foul will be called on Trinity Lutheran. Now Barry to take it out on the sideline. Will be knocked out of bounds there by Trinity Lutheran. Now they'll have Plass toss it in this time around. So now Plass gets the ball, gives it off for Lakens. Lakens tries to go right side. Now he's going to bring it back to the left side of the floor. Tries to go with the crossover, now has to give it off for Plass. Plass now tries to dribble through two balls on the ground. Plass is able to scoop it up. Plass now throws it in the corner. Ubrim puts up the shot, no good. A foul is called. This will be Ubrin's first attempts at the line. First free throw is no good. Ubrin will have one more shot at the line. That one is also no good. As now Trinity with the ball. Now Trinity kicks the ball ahead as Brewer with it gives it off for Gurker who puts up the jump shot. It's no good. Rebounded by Lakens. Lakens will now push the ball up the court quickly. Gets all the way in the paint. Puts up the layup. No good. And it will be rebounded by Trinity Lutheran. So now they kick it head for Brewer. Brewer with the bounce pass. It's going to be almost taken away by Lakens as it will go out of bounds. And Lakens is just flying out here on the court. And we'll have a full timeout called by Crothersville. If you're listening to West Washington Center live stream, we'll head to a quick commercial break. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. And we're back. Fourth quarter here, Trinity Lutheran leading 76 to nine, about three minutes and 22 seconds left to go in this game. So now we'll have Gurker taking the ball out of bounds. As that is gonna be taken away by Plass and now we'll push it the other way quickly. Plass has to dribble back out as Cuthersville didn't have the numbers. Lakens now with it, she puts up a three pointer. It's no good off the side of the rim, rebounded by Trinity Lutheran. Now that pass is gonna be taken away by Plass. Plass now gives it off for Lakens, who puts up another three pointer. It's no good. This time it's rebounded by Trinity. Now Trinity will take it the other way quickly, under three minutes to go in the game. Bounce pass inside, and that will be no good, but a foul is called on Crothersville. Yeah, and Crothersville's starting to show a bit more intensity here. It's just too bad that's a bit too late here in this ball game, but it's always a good thing to see your team out there playing hard. It's now bowling at the free throw line. First shot is no good off the back of the rim. It's 
now bowling with one more shot. That one is also no good. Will be rebounded by Plass. Plass now pushing it ahead quickly. Plass now kicks it out for Lakens. Lakens is going to go left side. Try to get inside and the foul will be called. Now Barry will take the ball out underneath the basket. Will be another full timeout called by Crothersville. You're listening to West Washington Center live stream and we'll head to another commercial break. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. 9421 or just visit our website. And we're back. Two minutes, 24 seconds left. Trinity Lutheran leading 76. Crothersville with nine. So now Barry will take the ball out underneath the basket for Crothersville. Now Barry gets it in for Lakens. Lakens within the corner. Lakens kicks out. Plass puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. Battle for the rebound as Plass is able to get it. Ball's knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with Crothersville. So now Barry taking it out. Gets it in for Lakens up near half court. <clears throat> as Lakens gives it off for Plass. Plass puts up another three-pointer. This one's no good. Rebounded by Womack. Womack tries to throw it inside, and a foul will be called. As now 30, Womack will go to the free throw line for two shots. First shot is up and no good. We'll see both Lakens and Plass exit this game as Womack looks for her second free throw. It is no good. Rebounded by Bowling for Trinity. And now Brewer will bring the ball off the floor. Brewer kicks it into the corner. There's a runner by Trinity Lutheran. It's no good. Offensive rebound. And a foul will be called. Rogers' first shot is up and it is no good. Minute 33 to go in the game. Rogers' second shot is up and it is no good. Battle for the rebound. Rotor is able to get it back. Bowling with the mid range jumper and gets it to go. So now Barry will bring the ball up the floor. Barry tries to go right side, picks up her dribble, gives it off to Womack, goes through her hands, will be out of bounds and go back to Trinity Lutheran. It's now with just one minute remaining on the game, Trinity Lutheran up 78-9 to nine as Bowling gets the ball inside, goes up for the post move and gets fouled and will go to the line for two shots. Now bowling at the free throw line for two shots. First one is up. It is no good. Yeah. 
Second free throw by Bowling is up. It is also no good. Offensive rebound, though, for Trinity Lutheran. Bowling puts up the mid-range jump shot. It is no good. Now ball is tipped and saved by Trinity Lutheran, but saves it out of bounds. will go to Crothersville. Now 40 seconds remaining in the game. Barry with the ball. Now Barry dribbling to the right side. He's now going to... Uh, try to back it up, gives it off for Womack. Womack dribbles inside, gets in the paint, and gets it taken away. As now Trinity Lutheran pushes it ahead quickly, and that layup should end off the game. Now with just 20 seconds remaining, as 12 Roder gets the two points to go. As now Barry with the ball. Barry's going to go right side, kind of lose it. Ball will be taken away by Trinity Lutheran, and a foul will be called. And that will be the end of the game as Trinity Lutheran comes out on top 80 to 9. Yeah, and that was a dominant performance we saw here tonight by Trinity Lutheran putting together some steals and making Crothersville pay with the transition points. Looking now at the points for Trinity Lutheran, Durham had 8 points, Cochram had 9 points, Jordan Brewer, the leading scorer, had 14 points. Gerker had four points. Roeder had four points. Froge had four points. Um, Caitlin Shep Shepman had six points. Keith had ten points. Emma Shepman had two points. Bowling had two points. Tabling had 11 points. And Morgan Brewer had four points. For Crothersville, um, Plass had five points. And Lakins had four points. So that will conclude the first game tonight as um, Trinity Lutheran takes down Crothersville and will move on to the sectional championship tomorrow night. They will play the winner of the second game, which is between the West Washington Lady Senators and the Shaw Memorial Lady Hilltoppers. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.